In this video, we're going to be looking at finding probabilities from a tree diagram. So here's a tree diagram, and what we can imagine is that uh, based on whether it rains or not, someone is late to an appointment or late to work. And depending on whether it rains, you can see that the probabilities change. Okay, So if it doesn't rain, for example, then the likelihood of this person being late is less than if it did rain. Okay, And that would probably make sense in a lot of cases. So we're going to work through these probabilities, and I'm going to show you how to calculate them. So the first one is probability that it rains. Well, this one we can read directly from the tree diagram, because we know that the probability that it rains is 0.25. Okay? So 0.25 for that one. And the probability that it doesn't rain, well, we can directly see that as well. That's 0.75. Now, the probability that it rains and the person is late. So the probability that he rains, that it rains, and the person is late, so we've got to multiply along the branches. So we have 0 0.25 times by 0 0.2, OK? And that is 0 0.05, OK? So you multiply along the branches. Let's say uh, we want to find the probability of it not raining and then the person is late. So no rain, so 0 0.75 multiplied by 0 0.1. So that would be 0 0.075. So how about the probability of them not being late? Well, there's two ways of them not being late. It either rained or it didn't rain. So we have 0 0.25 times 0.8 plus 0.75 times 0.9. So 0.25 times 0.8 plus 0.75 times 0.9. And that gets me 7 eighths, or 0.875. Okay? So that's the probability of him not being late. Then, the probability of being late, well, we've got these two options here, and there's two ways of getting there. You can either rain uh, or late, and then no rain and late. And, but seeing as we've already calculated the probability of him not being late, the probability of being late is 1 take away that number. So that's equal to 0 0.125, or 1 eighth. Now we start to get into the more interesting uh, region of questions these conditional probabilities. And they're all going to stem back to remembering that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. OK? So that is the formula that we need to use to make sure that we're getting this right. So the probability of someone being late and it raining is the probability of it of the person being late and it having rained divided by the probability of it raining so late and rain we worked that out that was 0 0.05 and the probability of it raining was 0 0.25 so 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.25 is 5 over 25, or 1 fifth. So 0 0.2. If then you want the probability of it not being late and no rain, uh, given that there was no rain, then what we are looking for is the probability of not being late intersected with no rain divided by the probability of there not being any rain. OK, so not late and no rain um, would be this one here. So 0 0.75 times 0 0.9. So 27 over 40, or 0 0.675. 
divided by the property of no rain, which is 0 0.75. So we get 0 0.9. Okay, now just looking at that, um, if we look at this in a little bit more detail, we can see that the numbers are giving us the correct answer, but just giving it as these two examples here, so given that it rains, so given that it rains, so we're just looking at this section now, what is the probability that they are late? And we can see directly that it's 0 0.2, okay? We can see that the calculation gives us the same answer, but you can also read it from the diagram. As for this one, the probability of not being late given that there's no rain. So given that there's no rain, what's the probability of them not being late? Well, it's 0 0.9, okay? So that's what the tree diagram was actually telling us in the first place. Now, if I'm going to go straight on to look at the probability of no rain, given that there's not that he was not late, um, that's a little bit more difficult to do straight off. So we've got to use the formula in this case. So we've got the probability of no rain and not late, okay, which we worked out here. So probability of not no rain and not late. And we're dividing that by the probability this time of not late. So we've got 0 0.675 as from before, but this time divided by the probability of not being late, which we worked out to be 0 0.875. So 0 0.675 divided by 0 0.875, and that's 27 over 35. Okay, and we're, I'm just going to leave it like that. It's a decimal equivalent of not, about 0 0.77. Okay. And then lastly, the probability of it raining given that they were late. So that would be the probability of it raining and being late divided by the probability of being late. So rain and late was 0.05. And the probability of him being late was 0.125. So 0.05 divided by 0.125, and that gets us two fifths or 0.4. Okay? So that is how we can calculate these uh, probabilities. We can utilize this formula. Uh, to deal with any of the given that conditional probabilities. But in some cases, in these two cases here, we could read them directly from the tree diagram.